Welcome to our tech troubleshooting video. Today, we're tackling a frustrating issue that many Netcore developers encounter. Our viewer is experiencing a problem with their application, which normally runs smoothly on localhost 5000. However, they are suddenly facing an error that says unable to connect to web server IIS Express. This issue seems to be linked to port conflicts, possibly due to Docker usage. Despite stopping Docker and killing IIS processes, the error persists, forcing them to reboot their machine. So the big question is, is there a way to resolve this without having to restart? Let's dive in and explore potential solutions together. Welcome back to another technical video. Today, we'll be going through your question, answers, and hopefully finding that solution that you're looking for. Guys, remember to stay just a little bit crazy, just like me, and hopefully get through to that resolution. Now, let's continue on. First, let's identify the issue. The error message indicates that your .NET Core application cannot connect to IIS Express on port 5000. This often happens when another process is using that port. You mentioned that the resource monitor shows port 5000 is in use by PID4, which is typically the system process. This can happen due to various reasons, including Docker or other applications occupying the port. To resolve this without rebooting, you can try releasing the port manually. Open a command prompt with administrative privileges and run the command netstat-no find star 5000. This will show you which process is using the port. Once you identify the PID using port 5000, you can terminate that process using the command task kill PIDF, replacing PI with the actual number you found. Finally, after terminating the conflicting process, try running your .NET Core application again. This should allow it to connect to IIS Express without needing to reboot your machine. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. If you're unable to connect to the IIS Express web server, try changing the port number in your project properties. Here's a visual guide to help you change the port number. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. If you're unable to connect to IIS Express, one effective solution is to restart your machine. This simple step resolved the issue for one user after trying multiple options. And that's it guys. I hope this video helped find that resolution you're looking for and you found the answer. Guys, please hit subscribe if it helped and I'd really appreciate it. I'll see you next time on another one of these technical videos. Have a good one.